Hello everyone. Voices of the Void has recently updated to 0.6.3, and with it, a slew of new and interesting updates. One of which being the ability to update your Kerfus. You may be wondering, why do I have two Kerfus? Well, that's just part of it. In today's video, I will show you how you can get your own Kerfus Omega. Now, a couple of things before I begin. This is very much a late game upgrade because it will cost you at least, uh, let's see, that's 200. It will cost you at least 1,220 points. Maybe more, depending on what route you decide to go. So, how do you upgrade? Well, it's simple. These are the objects necessary to upgrade your Kerfus. Those two won't fit, so you need two Kerfus modules as well. We'll get into why. And these are the objects that I would highly advise you pick up. So, that out of the way, let's begin. To start, we want to take apart your Kerfus module. Make sure nothing else is on the table with them. And then create. It'll explode into a bunch of little pieces. You need to do this twice. You'll need five Kerfus parts. and the color of your choosing. You will need two plastic scrap. You can make one piece of plastic scrap by finding six pieces of plastic trash scattered among the world. Not very hard. I'm using these bottles as an example. Once you have six on the workbench, you simply hover over it, click create, and you have two plastic scrap. You will need one rubber scrap, and the best way I've found to get rubber scrap is simply using your fishing rod and fishing up either a tire or a rubber pair of boots. I believe it's just one boot. Crafting the rubber tire will get you two rubber scrap, but you only need one for this endeavor so you can throw the other one away. To get the fishing rod parts, Go to the location on the map. Make sure to bring a shovel with you as it's underground. You will need two pieces of electronic scrap. The easiest way I've found to go about getting electronic scrap is simply crafting four drives into one piece. It's also very cost efficient. You will need one piece of metal scrap, which much like the plastic scrap, you can make from the trash generously scattered around your base. To get the manual needed to make Omega Kerfus, you need to do a little bit of an exploit. As of the recording of this video anyway. Start by uh, coming around the back, and you'll notice that card right there. To get it, simply use your hook. Might take you a few attempts, and simply fish it out. Once you have gotten the key card, simply go up to this keypad and right click. It will now open. As for this keypad, it is worthy to note that Dr. Nose intended to patch this out, but as of the recording of this video, it still works. It may not work in future versions, but simply right click the keypad with your password changer, set the new password to whatever you want, and you have now access to the 
once inside, the manual you'll want to look for is behind these crates here. Right there. Once you have all the parts that I've mentioned, simply put them all onto the crafting bench and craft them. Like that. So, you just went through all that trouble making your very own Omega Kerfus. I'm sure you're wondering what it can do. Well, it can do quite a lot of things. Follow is self-explanatory. You select this, it'll follow you wherever you go. Very menacingly at night. The idle will just stand there, watching, waiting for you to come back. Patrol mode will send him out to patrol any given area. Resistance does vary, I've seen. I'll just kind of wander around. He retains his fixed server's behavior, much like old Kerfus did. Where are you going? Come here. Get back here. Follow me. As for new functionality, you can go get your reports, he can fix your transformers, and you can give him an object. For the get reports, all you have to do is tear out a piece of paper, hold it in your inventory, or hold it in your offhand, and he will go get your reports. He's already gotten mine for the day, so as you can see here, Reports are already completed, dumbass. How quaint. You can send Kerfus to fix Transformers. Now it is worth mentioning that you cannot send him to fix a Transformer that has not already broken. A Transformer has to break fully before you can go out. Before you can send him to go out to fix it, he will not fix one that is already up. And lastly, you can take an up, he can hold an object for you. So if you want to arm your robot, he will hold anything you give him. Note that this does not work with uh, 3D printer models, but based on my testing, it works with almost anything else in the game. If you want to get the object back, you just take object again. And yeah. you can always pat him. Yeah. And he is very fast. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you get your Omega Kerfus.